everybody here in uh, Chiang Mai in northern Thailand and a couple of stories for different outlets but one of the things I really wanted to focus on was khao soy, one of my favorite dishes in the world and this is where the dish comes from here in northern Thailand. It is essentially kind of a coconut milk curry soup with your choice of chicken, beef, or pork. Uh, I typically have it with chicken in the States and we came to a place here called Khao Soy Summer Jai. Uh, we're going to a couple of different places this morning, but we started here for breakfast at about 9.30 this morning, already very busy. People hovered over bowls of khao soy, slurping furiously, and we came over here to see kind of how they were assembling it. It's really pretty simple, and they can assemble it in about a minute, but obviously the prep is massive because they're cooking chicken, uh, little chicken legs, they're cooking pork, and they're cooking beef. Uh, but then they assemble the, the soup, and the soup is done way ahead of time. Uh, some have just a simple curry in it, some um, are very thin, some are thick, and they also have a side of coconut cream. Now the interesting thing about here, once they assemble the bowl, and it starts with um, boiled noodles that go in the bottom of the bowl with a little bit of cilantro, and then you add your protein, whatever you chose, and then the broth goes on, but then finally they add a little bit of coconut cream to add a bit of richness to it. Some places combine the coconut cream with the curry in the soup, here they actually have the coconut cream separate, add that at the very end, and then typically khao soy is served with some crispy noodles on top of the bowl for added crunch. And on the side they give you a garnish, usually of shallots, uh, pickled mustard greens. Khao soy, one of my favorite dishes in the world. Okay, so we're on to our second khao soy of the morning at khao soy kun yai, which means grandma. But the difference is here, you can see with the broth, I think it's a little bit thinner than the previous place, and it's also a little bit spicier. Uh, the chicken is served off the bone, very tender, it's gotta be thigh. The crispy noodles on top, really, really thin compared to the previous versions we had, which I was more accustomed to in the US. Here, at Kunyai, it is much thinner, almost like a vermicelli noodle. They also do the little bit of coconut cream drizzle at the very end to add that final bit of richness. So I think you can't really go wrong with any khao soy in Chiang Mai, but it's just fascinating to see how many different varieties there are, how many different types there are, and how busy they are. Nine, 10 in the morning, people eating khao soy all morning long.